What's good everybody? I'm Skytoon and today we're gonna go over everything shown in the second trailer for Splatoon 3. Let's dive into it. First things first, you can see 8 metal boxes. They drop down from the sky while spinning in the air. We can see that some boxes have a yellow dot and others have a purple one. What you're seeing here is the two teams getting into position before the turf war. They eventually jump out of the boxes and get ready for battle. Taking a look at the yellow team, we have all kinds of new outfits. But what I'm really focused on is the weapons. From left to right, we have the splat bow, the neo splash matic the undercover brella, and the gluga doolies. Then we take a look at the purple team's weapons. From left to right, we have a new gal weapon, we have some kind of new charger, the clash blaster, and some kind of new roller. Now, let's take a look at some brand new specials. We can see this crab-like machine being controlled by an inkling. It's actually called the crab tank, and it can roll around the stage as well as fire ink at opposing players. Then, there's this inkling deploying an off-brand Beyblade. The top spins up to the sky and creates a giant blue shield called the Big Bubbler. When inside, absolutely nothing can hurt you. On the right, we can see a bomb being thrown, and when it makes impact, it doesn't harm anything inside of the area. The next thing isn't a special, but it caught my eye. I realized that the forward and backward movement of this yellow squid is the exact same from the first trailer. It's a move called a squid roll, which allows the squid to twirl out of its ink and immediately go back the way it came. Going back to specials, probably the coolest one of them all is the zip caster. This allows you to target an area and pull yourself to it. It makes a splash where you land, which can damage opponents nearby. It was showing more of the battle and then glitched out to give us our first look at the story mode called Return of the Mammalians. Right away we can see an Octarian with fur on it? That's strange. But after that we can see Agent 3 in some awesome new gear with little buddy by their side. The Inkling seems to also be rocking a never before seen weapon too. In the next clip there's a little pink squid logo clipped to the ink tank. And look at that! Little Buddy can ride in a small pouch on the back of the ink tank. Oh look, another glitch. In this one, we take a look at Agent 3 with the ink bow. So this confirms that there's still multiple hero weapons to use in story mode. On Agent 3's ear, we can see an earring or an earpiece that resembles a horseshoe. Did you notice these two shots are actually different outfits? The ink tanks look different too. This is my absolute favorite shot in the entire trailer. It's beautiful and shows the expanse of this new world. The vibe is just amazing. Oh my gosh, it's a zapfish! Looks like we'll be seeing these guys again. This one seems to have its whiskers being held down from each side and tries to spread electricity to desperately escape. Then we jump to the part with the stone heads from Easter Island. There's an item to the left, and in the background, it honestly looks like Superman ice cream with hot fudge. Sorry, I'm hungry. Now the Inkling has a neck pillow, and seems to be in a snowy area. To the left, there's some kind of tower with stairs leading up to the top. I doubt we'll ever be able to go up there, but it would be super cool. No pun intended. And a better view of the neck pillow. That earring I was talking about earlier is definitely an earpiece. Look at the LED indicators on the back of Agent 3's ear. Next, we can see that someone is trying to research and build up evidence against Judd. It's very mysterious. I hope he isn't going to be catnapped. Okay, so instead of stopping and starting after each transition, I went to combine the areas to show what they're all about. Starting with this one. Here we have a place that looks like a construction zone with maybe a catwalk or a back alleyway. Tons of metal bars and pipes can be seen in the area. This next place is extremely bright, with a bunch of triangles and cubes almost skewered through these white bars. Lots of tall buildings can be seen as well. Then it stops for a second and shows the Octarians, and this squid who's been... impaled? Someone is seriously behind the scenes, researching all of this for some reason. Going back again to the areas, 
This one seems to be filled with scrap metal, floating everywhere. Everything is like a whiteout, and even some stairs are seen flipped over. And the last location has these beautiful festive lanterns flying into the midnight sky. After the locations are shown, the trailer shows something strange. We can see what looks like a whirlpool, forcing the Eiffel Tower to go under the current and flip upside down, while an inkling is holding onto a tree for dear life. Maybe this is how the tower got turned around to start with, all because of a storm. This is awesome. Little Buddy appears to be able to be thrown at this stuff that I'm beginning to think is not ice cream and eat it to clear the way. Oh look, more Octarians. Here's Agent 3 in the floating scrap area and another shot in the lantern zone with Little Buddy. I honestly feel like they threw a bunch of random stuff into this trailer. Take a look at some of this pixel art of Agent 3, Callie, and Marie. Wait, what? Surprise, they're back! And is that Captain Cuttlefish? Actually, he goes by Craig now. At this point, we see even more of Agent 3 and the new gear with the hero weapon. More Octarians here and there, and look, another angle of my favorite place in the trailer. I'm not positive what or who this is in the light, but I believe it's Little Buddy. This shot shows Agent 3 running through some sort of facility, and the pink squid pin on the ink tank can be seen a lot better here. In the scrap area, we take a look at another returning enemy called an octopod. Okay, now this is really interesting. Agent 3 is standing on a floating platform in the middle of the scrap zone. Floating, like going down a river. Metal is everywhere, and the Eiffel Tower got turned upside down with a whirlpool of water. Could we actually be inside of the inverted Eiffel Tower? And how did the Octo Trooper get in here? Well, 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 look who it is. DJ Octavio is back, and this time, he has a mech suit. The very last thing shown is Agent 3 in the snow with Little Buddy, looking at a massive rocket in the distance. Did you notice anything? Look at the different parts of all of this. There's the red area Agent 3 was running through. All of those walkways were leading to the shuttle. You can even look back at this picture and see the same orange tank. I'm not sure what any of this means, other than maybe Inklings will be headed to the moon. Oh, and were you curious what would happen if you touched the fluffy ice cream? You'll get turned into a mammalian. I'm gonna be real with everybody when I say that other than the 25 minute Breath of the Wild 2 analysis I did, this was the most difficult. The glitch transitions happening every second, splitting apart similar moments, was extremely frustrating to work with. But hey, I tried my best. If you're excited for Splatoon 3, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and share the video around with some friends. All of my social medias are down below, including Twitch, where I'm 100% more active than I am on here. So click that link and come hang out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see ya in the next video.